Hi, Joe here from IAC, Industrial Accessories Company. Uh, today we have a few thoughts on static pressure. Uh, static pressure is a big factor on how well a bag house works, but a lot of times the places where this pressure occurs is not actually in the bag house. We get a lot of phone calls and solve a lot of problems by troubleshooting differential pressure. The difference between the clean side and the dirty side of the bag house, that's where pressure frequently changes in a bag house system. But leading up to the bag house in this, the duct work frequently is lots of elbows, turns. Uh, lots of our customers have had to rebuild duct work over the years. Every change you make to this system can increase or decrease differential pressure. This is important ultimately because it impacts what's after the bag house, which is the fan. Every fan on every bag house out there is made to overcome a specific amount of static pressure. And when you don't have that pressure at its desired level too high because you've added bends in your elbows, you're operating at too high a pressure, that fan is not able to move the amount of air uh, that it's designed to move. Secondly, uh, when we're talking about static pressure or pressure that shouldn't change, uh, we have our air manifold as well. Uh, so anytime you're cleaning a bag house and you're pulsing it before it should clean so you don't have enough pressure in the air manifold, or if you're uh, waiting too long and you build up pressure um, and don't take advantage of your cleaning system when it should operate, uh, you have an impact on how well that bag house will perform. Uh, you also have to take into consideration, do you know what the pressure levels are in the ductwork, in your air manifold? Are you reading those pressures? Are you keeping track of your differential pressure? Uh, these are all things we'd like to help you with and we'd like to talk to you about. If you have questions, please get a hold of us at IAC at 913-384-5511. I'm Joe from IAC. Thanks.